Hello. Um, I hope you're doing fine. Um, today it's Friday, and Friday once again. <laughs> Could you believe that? And it's very cloudy. It's probably also very cold. But my plan for today, at least one of them, is to go get a sketchbook, a moleskin sketchbook, because. I really like the sketchbooks and even though I haven't finished the other ones I have, I really want the Moleskine sketchbook, so... The ones I have now have a really yellowish paper and even though I prefer cream paper than just white white paper, this is way too yellow, which is not an excuse to get a new sketchbook and not finish it ever, but... Uh, I will use it as an excuse. And I also enjoy the Moleskine sketchbook more because I can actually use some paint without the paper looking terrible. That's the plan. That's one of them at least. I don't know when I'm gonna go. Um, but other than that, uh, I got a new septum ring yesterday. It's a uh, rose gold with some um, pink... Uh, is it like rose quartz thingies? I don't know if the rose quartz is actually rose quartz but yes so i'm trying to see if i like that uh it's a big change because it's kind of golden but i wanted to have something different because uh till now i've only had the b septum ring that i've been wearing for many many years another thing is my place looks pretty messy so i have to clean it eventually i don't know if i'm gonna clean the whole thing but maybe just a little bit so it's more functional oh oh yes i haven't eaten breakfast yet i went to, to uh, film the whole day and uh, i will be going to the asian store i have one pretty close and i'm gonna get a lot a lot of tofu i was just thinking oh i haven't made coffee like i should make coffee and then I, I thought like, no, if you do, then you have to drink it and then you're gonna be even more hungry or you're gonna go get tofu and then when you come back, it's gonna be cold. So I'm just self-sabotaging myself. Yes, tofu. Oh, there's so many things I need to show you, but tofu. And something I've been doing that helps me a lot is like when I'm doing things, cause I get distracted extremely easily, that was, that, that was me being hungry, by the way. Because I get distracted super fast, uh, what I do is I just say what I'm doing. Because that, in that way, my brain cannot like intervene and make me want to do something else, like suddenly start watering my plants when I was supposed to make coffee, for example. I'm trying to do that, and it does help a lot, I would say. You just look a bit crazy because you're talking to yourself, but... You're at least not so distracted. <laughs> anyway, um, tofu. I got tempeh, usually you find half of it for 2 to 3 euros, but this was 2 euros and it's super cheap. And then I got tofu of course, but first I will um, cut this into pieces because it's expiring in 3 days and put it in the freezer so I can, whenever I want, um, pick as much as I want.
Okay, so let me update you with things. So first, my desk is here now. It used to be like that on the wall, but um, I noticed that the window, because there's a street with humans and such, it's distracting me a lot, so I did this, and now I don't see them, and it's a lot better. Then I was doing some stamps. I'm working on making this stamp uh, for an original that I have. Wait. So, I want to make this original into a print, this one, and it has some golden writing here, which you cannot make with a printer, or actually I think there's a specific way to do it, but I don't want to do all that for it. And I don't want to, you know, make a print where the black will be also printed and then you're going to have this part also printed. I want to make it as close as the original. So the print printed part will be this white part with the illustration. And then I got a bunch of uh, black cardboard like here, um, which I will cut uh, the circle in and probably hand paint the surrounding uh, circle and then for these I wanted to make a stamp so this is the stamp you can see it really well um, this is failed uh, tries to make a print because I don't have a really good uh, golden ink I was trying to you know different things this is with a watercolor golden ink of course, the golden uh, shades are different, but this is more like it, like the original, but I haven't found the perfect way to make it look exactly like uh, what I have carved, because if you see... Where did I put it? If you see here, with the black ink, this is how it's supposed to look, like this one here. Um, so these ones are not exactly like that uh, because this is not actual uh, ink for stamps it's acrylic uh, so I just need to find a specific way to make it work with a stamp here as you can see there's like too much acrylic on the stamp and it made it look like that this is one of the best ones I had so far but only this part looks decent but still you cannot see everything that is on the actual stamp then I made this stamp here which is just an example uh, to show my patrons how to carve a stamp. This is the failed attempt. I had carved it, like, you know, when you are carving something, you have to carve it mirrored. Like, for example, this doesn't make sense. Uh, but when you stamp it, it looks, you know, you can actually read it. So I didn't think about that when I was carving this one and it turned out mirrored. So then I just went ahead and cut them off and put new ones because this took too long to start all over. Yeah, so the finished one for this one is this. Um, I used this part to put acrylic and try to stamp it, so that's why you can see them. It's not the best material. I have to find something a bit more plasticky, I think, or maybe, maybe even that might work, but I'm not sure. Uh, but paper is not the best to put ink on and stamp from. But it's okay. Then I have this guy here. I planted him a while ago. Uh, I think it's like he's two weeks old. I planted him from seeds and I'm waiting for it to grow. Look at the leaves. They're so, so, so pretty. I love them so much. Oh, and look at this guy. He's been growing. He's expecting a new leaf. Then I have been working on some stickers. I'm going to show you. So these are the stickers I've been working on. This is going to be a sticker pack. I was thinking of maybe doing a sticker sheet, but I don't know how it's going to look like. Um, so these are basically the designs. This is my favorite one. I was maybe thinking of doing some more of these, like a wing swords and daggers but yes so these will eventually be uh, stickers oh this is a drawing i really like i don't think you have seen it yet 
these are ducks by the way i know they have really long <laughs> necks but they are ducks for me okay um because i think ducks are a lot more pure than geese geese are very aggressive and oh i have some things here from a friend her name is envy she's a really nice artist and this is from an oil painter i was their patron for a few months oh and then this guy um i made a book for him can i have this thank you i don't know why i did that but i started uh cutting the pages and then sewed it sewed them together like that i haven't written anything inside it's very empty so but i like him keeping that it's like his it's his di diary so
look what I got. It's a bit dirty now. I got it today. Hello. Um, this one is broken, so it was cheap. It was just seven fifty. I usually find this a pretty expensive, but it's like a vintage place that I got it from. So usually that's cheap for that place. Um, I just have to find something to screw it in. Um, as you can see, I don't mind the rustiness. Um, I need find something like this. Um, I don't mind getting broken things. I actually like it because uh, they add character to whatever the object is, even clothes. So that's a nice one. I just have to wash it and fix it. Oh, I hate these. So I'm going for a walk for a little date with myself. I'm going to bring some coffee and some jelly candy things and yes that's it uh, it the weather the temperatures dropped to zero again celsius i don't know how much it's in fahrenheit and it sucks but it's okay <laughs> at least it's still sunny and it might it looks kind of like spring might come one day I wanted to share with you my trick for having warm hands as a person whose hands turn to probably zero degrees in like seconds after I go out and yes even if I put them in my pockets they, they get really cold so this is for you if you're like me hear me out a big glove okay but the point is this is a warm one I think it's for skiing or something you fold it like that okay this actually fits my hand if it's in a fist or something and I put it like that inside my pocket okay and then people might think I'm putting my hand on my pocket in my pocket but I'm actually putting it in my pocket in my glove and now you might think she's wearing gloves think again I'm not and this is how I maintain super warm hands in winter time okay I guess this won't work if your jacket coat thingy is small and big gloves will look weird in your pockets but I'm wearing a big guy here <laughs> probably the kind of uh, coats I own are from an old man an old Finnish man a big guy <laughs> <laughs>